Good morning. I'm Dale Kramer with the Prayer Mobilization Team. Our bishop has encouraged us as a team to change our day of prayer and fasting uh, from a Thursday to a Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the month, or even every Wednesday if you would like to do that. Uh, it's going to be a double challenge for me because I used to do some of this, but I feel like Isaac opening up the wells that his father Abraham had opened and then got filled by the Philistines um, in Genesis 26, verse 18. I'm going to have to redig the wells, and that's the challenge for me to redo what I used to do. Some of you may have fasted before and prayer. Others of you, this might be a first time. Just a couple uh, things we want to get to you uh, in that. If this is your first time, check with your doctor. Make sure that you're able to fast. Um, there are some medications that need um, to be taken with food. Some you could skip for a day and it won't matter. So check with your doctor to be sure, but if you're in reasonable health, there's no reason not to be able to fast. The other thing that we encourage in fasting is that you start the fast the day before. Because if you skip the evening meal and then sleep through the night and then skip breakfast and lunch and then have the evening meal on the next day, Wednesday, which is what we're encouraging, you'll find that that's 24 hours. If you have your evening meal, sleep a night, not eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and then go to bed the next morning, you're actually 24 hours plus whatever amount of time you've eaten or sleep, slept, slept. <laughs> um, and that's uh, would be 24 plus 6 or 8, whatever that time is. So we encourage to start this the night before. Um, I want to look at Isaiah 58, which gives us some instructions on fasting. Here it begins, Cry loudly, do not hold back, raise your voice like a trumpet, and declare to my people their transgressions, and to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me day by day, and to delight to know my ways, as the nation has done righteousness and has not forsaken the ordinance of their God. Yet they ask me for they ask me for just decisions. They delight in the nearness of God. Why have we fasted in the past, and you do not see? Why have we humbled ourselves, and you do not notice? Behold, on the day of your fast, you find your desire and drive hard all your workers. Behold, you fast for contention and strife and to strike with a wicked fist. You do not fast like you do today to make your voice heard on high. It is a fast like this that I choose, a day for a man to humble himself. That's the reason we fast. It's to humble ourselves and to hear uh, the voice of the Lord for us. That's why we fast. To hear the voice of the Lord and to get in tune with Him and His ways. And when we fast, and with that right attitude, God does speak to us and God does show us things that we need to do, things that He desires for us, and we can do that in a proper way. Um, in fasting... You may say, well, do I do a water fast? Do I do a juice fast? Uh, can I fast sort of like at Lent where I just give up uh, certain things? Yes, that's the short answer. You can do all of that. Um, if you can fast for 24 hours with just a water fast, I find that to be a great blessing. But again, check with your doctor to see that that is okay. If you're someone that says, for physical reasons, medical reasons, I can't go without food. I suggest that you adopt the attitude of the fast during your Sabbath, whether that be a Saturday or a Sunday. 
at the end of Isaiah 58, um, Isaiah picks up the idea of the Sabbath. If because of the Sabbath you turn your foot from doing your own pleasure on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy day of the Lord, honorable, and honor it, desisting from your own ways and seek, and from seeking your own pleasure and speaking your own word, then you will take delight in the Lord. The attitude of the fast is the attitude that we should have on Sundays. I'm afraid when the Lord spoke of a day of rest, he was speaking of resting in him, not recreation or leisure, or as it says here in Isaiah 58, a day for your own pleasures. So I challenge you, as our bishop has challenged us, to take a day of prayer and fasting. Wednesday, if you can. If not, make Sunday special and take that time to just focus on the Lord and develop that discipline in your life. You'll find it beneficial. Well, you'll be hearing more from us and other members of the committee on prayer and fasting and uh, special days throughout the new year. Thank you.